Why does it feel like no matter how hard we work, we're still broke? From housing costs that keep climbing to the growing gap between wages and living expenses, it's getting tougher to make ends meet. And it's not just that, as the list of reasons keeps piling up. So, what are the other things and what can we do about it? Well, stay tuned as we try to find out how we got here and what you can do to break free. 1. Housing Costs Back in the mid-1980s, the median household income was around $25,000, while the average home price was about $100,000. That meant a family could buy a house with around four years of income. But by 2019, everything changed. Household income grew to $68,000, but home prices skyrocketed to $313,000. Now it took over four and a half years of income to buy a house, and by 2024, it's even worse. Families now need almost six years worth of income to afford a home. This is because of rising demand, inflation in construction costs, and wages that haven't kept up. This gap is making it harder for people to afford homes, and for many, home ownership is slipping further away. With fewer people able to buy, it's also increasing wealth inequality. The divide between homeowners and renters is growing, making it even tougher for people to get ahead financially and delaying major life decisions like marriage and starting a family. 2. Easy access to debt Let's be honest, one of the biggest traps people fall into today is easy access to debt. Credit cards are everywhere and they're being marketed to young people who may not have the financial experience to handle them wisely. Many get pre-approved offers before they even finish school, making it easy to build up debt without fully understanding the long-term consequences. Then there's the issue of car loans. The average car payment for a new vehicle has now reached around $750 a month, with about 20% of buyers paying over $1,000 monthly. When you add this to other debts like student loans, it can seriously strain a household's budget. And you can see where the problem is how easily these loans are accessible. Right now, so many dealerships offer quick financing with little paperwork, encouraging people to spend more than they can afford. The result? A cycle of debt that becomes hard to break. The interest rates on credit cards, especially, can make it nearly impossible to pay down balances if you're not careful. Over time, the debt just keeps growing, making it harder to manage monthly payments. As the bills pile up, People often feel the pressure to borrow even more just to cover everyday expenses. This leads to constant stress and a feeling of being trapped by debt. For many, this financial strain starts to affect their mental health, leading to anxiety and depression. Debt becomes more than just a financial issue. It's a burden that weighs heavily on everyday life. 3. Inflation and Shrinkflation we must all agree, inflation has been hitting hard over the past few years, making everything feel more expensive. From supply chain disruptions to rising demand after the pandemic, prices have been climbing and it's been tough for families to keep up. Who are to be blamed? We can say the Federal Reserve as they raised interest rates aggressively to control inflation. But even as inflation rates drop, consumer prices haven't followed. Groceries, gas, and other essentials are still much higher than they were before, forcing many families to rethink their spending. The situation gets even worse as some companies are reducing the size of products while keeping the prices the same. You know the term, yes, shrinkflation. You might notice that your favorite snack or household product just doesn't last as long as it used to. But you're paying the same amount or more for it. This tactic allows manufacturers to maintain their profits without clearly raising prices, but it makes budgeting even more difficult for consumers who think they're spending the same as before. Higher interest rates also mean higher costs for borrowing, whether for credit cards, car loans, or mortgages. The monthly payment for a typical mortgage has jumped significantly in recent years, adding to the financial strain. Even though inflation rates have recently dropped from their peak, Many essential items, especially groceries, are unlikely to return to their pre-pandemic prices anytime soon. All of this adds up to a situation where managing personal finances has become a lot more challenging. 
and people are feeling the squeeze in almost every part of their lives. 4. Wage Disparity The gap between high and low wages has grown significantly in recent years, and it's affecting a lot of people. High-paying jobs in tech, like software engineers and data scientists, offer salaries that can easily reach six figures, but these roles often require specialized skills and advanced degrees. They're also highly competitive, meaning not everyone has access to them. On the other hand, jobs in sectors like retail and hospitality are much more common, but they pay much less. Workers in these positions often struggle to make ends meet, especially with wages that haven't kept up with the rising cost of living. For many people in lower wage jobs, moving up can feel nearly impossible. One of the biggest barriers being lack of access to education and training, making it hard for individuals to gain the skills needed for better paying roles. As the demand for skilled labor continues to rise, those without the right qualifications are left stuck in low paying jobs, creating a cycle that's hard to break. The gig economy adds another layer to this issue. While gig work offers flexibility, it often comes without benefits like health insurance or retirement plans, and the pay is inconsistent. This leaves many gig workers earning less overall without the security of a traditional job. For those in these situations, saving for the future or even just covering basic expenses can be a challenge. This growing wage disparity isn't just about individual jobs, though. It's shaping the entire economic classes. As high-wage earners continue to pull ahead, those in lower-paying roles are left behind, deepening the divide and making it harder for many to achieve financial stability. 5. Living is more expensive for the poor For people living on lower incomes, everything feels more expensive, and that's not just a feeling, it's reality. Unexpected costs like medical bills, car repairs, or job losses can throw off even the best financial plans. For many low-income families, these emergencies mean having to rely on high-cost borrowing options like payday loans or credit cards. And without savings or an emergency fund, they're often forced into debt just to get by. A recent survey shows that over half of Americans would need to borrow money to cover an unexpected $1,000 expense, which highlights how precarious the situation is for many. Payday loans, in particular, come with sky-high interest rates and short repayment windows, trapping people in a cycle of debt. A $500 payday loan can easily double in cost within weeks because of fees, leaving borrowers struggling even more than before. This leads to a cycle where people keep borrowing to cover previous debts, creating a financial spiral that's hard to escape. Living costs for low-income families are also disproportionately high in other ways. Many have to pay more for basic necessities like food, rent, and utilities. Wealthier households can take advantage of buying in bulk or securing better financial terms, while lower-income families are often stuck paying higher prices for smaller quantities. Housing is another major burden, with rent in lower-income neighborhoods often higher than in more affluent areas because of limited availability and higher demand. Building an emergency fund is one of the best ways to break out of this cycle, but it's much easier said than done for people who are already stretched thin. Financial experts recommend saving three to six months worth of living expenses, but even starting small can make a difference. Setting aside even a little each month can help create a safety net for when life throws those unexpected expenses your way reducing the need for high-interest loans and easing some of that financial stress. 6. Subscription Services What started as a simple way to access music, movies, and software has turned into an overwhelming list of monthly charges that can quickly add up. Services like Netflix, Spotify, and Apple Music offer convenience, giving us access to endless content for a reasonable fee. It all sounds great at first. $10 or $15 a month seems affordable, right? But when you're juggling multiple subscriptions, those small charges start to add up fast. The problem is, many of us lose track of how many services we're subscribed to. You sign up for one thing, then another, and before you know it, you're spending over $100 a month on subscriptions. Even worse, free trials often slip through the cracks. 
Companies make it super easy to sign up, but not so easy to remember when that trial period ends, leaving you with unwanted charges when you forget to cancel in time. There's also something called subscription fatigue, where it becomes exhausting to manage all these services. You may not even be using half of them, but the money is still coming out of your account every month. It's a silent drain on your finances, one that often goes unnoticed until it's too late. To regain control, it helps to regularly review your subscriptions and cancel the ones you don't really need. Some services even offer bundled plans at a discount, which can help reduce cost. Keeping track of these subscriptions with budgeting tools or setting reminders for when free trials end can also go a long way in making sure you're not overpaying. 7. Fundamental Truths The reality of financial stress is something many people are familiar with today. Life feels like a constant battle of trying to stay ahead, yet the rising cost of living seems to make it harder with each passing year. People are working long hours, often in jobs that don't offer substantial pay increases, only to find that their salaries aren't enough to cover basic expenses like housing, groceries, and health care. It's easy to feel stuck in a situation where no matter how hard you work, you're not making any progress financially. On top of that, the pressure to keep up with social activities and spending doesn't help. Whether it's dining out, attending events, or simply maintaining a social life, these small activities can quickly add up. And while enjoying life is important, it can feel like every outing comes with a hefty price tag, causing even more strain on an already tight budget. The truth is, while small expenses like a daily coffee can add up, they aren't the real reason most people feel broke. The bigger financial burdens come from major costs like housing, transportation, and health care. The key to getting ahead financially lies in focusing on the long term, prioritizing saving and investing for the future instead of spending for instant gratification. One of the most powerful shifts in mindset is understanding that financial freedom comes from what you save and invest, not what you spend. Even small changes can lead to significant growth over time, thanks to the magic of compound interest. It's also important to stop comparing yourself to others. In today's world, it's easy to get caught up in the idea that success is tied to material possessions. However, true financial success is about having the freedom to live life on your terms without constantly worrying about money. The journey to financial freedom starts with understanding these fundamental truths and making decisions that align with your long-term goals. And that's it! So if you could change just one financial habit today to completely transform your future, what would it be? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos like this one.